Jenny, a post-operative client, has three different PRN analgesics prescribed for different levels of pain. You inadvertently administer a dose that is not within the prescribed parameters. What action should you take first? A. Determine if the pain was relieved. B. Complete a medication error report. C. Assess for side effects of the medication. D. Document the client's responses. The correct answer is C. Assess for side effects of the medication. A nurse assistant describes the appearance of the bowel movements of several clients. Which descriptions warrant additional follow-up by the nurse? Select all that apply. A. Multiple hard pellets. B. Brown liquid. C. Formed but soft. D. Solid with red streaks. E. Carry appearance. The correct answers are A. Multiple hard pellets. B. Brown liquid. D. Solid with red streaks. E. Carry appearance. You are caring for a client who was placed in restraints due to confusion. The family removes the restraints while they are with client in the hospital. When the family leaves, what action should you take first? A. Apply the restraints to maintain the client's safety. B. Reassess the client to determine the need for continuing restraints. C. Document the time the family left and continue to monitor. The correct answer is B. Reassess the client to determine the need for continuing restraints. Joel is in contact isolation due to stage 4 coccyx wound infected with methicillin-resistant Staphylococcus aureus, MRSA. You plan interventions to prevent multiple re-entries to the client's room. In which order should you perform the interventions? The correct answer is C. Restart the IV, perform tracheotomy care, change coccyx dressing. These are some helpful mnemonics to help you determine the most correct answer. ADPI is the nursing process that will guide you in determining which answer is correct. Also using ABCs and P mnemonic will guide you in answering prioritization questions. Please click subscribe for more helpful fundamentals of nursing questions and answers.